Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Makita from At Home with Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So today we are switching things up a little bit and I am sharing with you guys what's inside my bag. That's probably a highly requested video that you guys have been asking for. I have been sharing things on Instagram, on my social media. So if you are over there, you've already seen what's inside my bag, but I thought I would share with you guys here because I haven't done a updated what's inside my bag. This isn't my planner tote, this is my actual purse. And I'm also gonna do a haul of some bags that I picked up from Coach. It's my new newest addiction. So I'm excited to share all the things with you and share what's inside my bag. So let's get into it. All right, so most of you guys know, especially if you've been here for some time, that mama doesn't always get things for herself. And so I decided to update my bags. Typically, I carry around this Amazon bag that cost 10 bucks that I got in gray and black. I actually just had to replace the black one. And that's just kind of how I roll. I'm a very simple girl. I'm not a bad girl, I'm not a shoe girl. I'm just a girl, okay? Who just enjoys the simple life. So a friend of mine put me on to the coach outlet. So I went on and I just browsed around and it took me some time to get some things. And I finally went ahead and bought two bags and then I bought two wallets and I bought a planner. So I'm gonna share with you all of those things today. So we'll walk through that first and then I will show you what's inside the bag that I'm using now. And I toggle back and forth between the three bags that I'm gonna show you today. So let me go ahead and share with you the first bag, which is right here. You kind of saw it in view. And I'm trying something different also, you guys, with this overhead view. Normally, if I'm doing a what's inside my bag, it's gonna be me sitting in front of the camera but I said, let me just try to see if I can share with you guys this way. I do have a wide angle lens, so I felt like I could be able to share with you and you could see everything. And so you guys will have to comment below and let me know if you like this format. So this is the first bag. You guys know I love florals now. I wasn't a floral girl before, but typically though, y'all, I wouldn't pick this bag out only because I feel like it's very limited and what you could wear it with. But once I saw it, my friend showed me she got the book bag. I low key want to go get the book bag and she got the, well, she didn't get the wallet, but they do have a wallet with this sort of pattern. Once I saw it, I was like, you know what? Let me just step outside my comfort zone. And I've already used it one time and it's, it's just so pretty. So that's how the front looks. It's got these straps here. You guys know I love a good tote bag and that's typically what I lean for or two when it comes to getting a bag just because I like to stuff it with all the things. I'm a mom so I have to carry around a lot of different things and tote bags is just what works for me. So it's got some straps here that help with carrying. Of course it is your typical tote bag. It's a great size and so that's the front side and then here is the back side. So it's got these pretty florals you guys. I just it drew my eye to it. And so I definitely thought, hey, let's just go ahead and pick it up. So the only con that I have seen about this bag, and I am figuring out a solution, is that it doesn't have any or much storage. I do like that the magnet clips very easily. Like it'll kind of grab it on its own and stick together. So I like that about it because if you kind of, if you leave it open, it'll kind of close on its own. So I do like that, but it doesn't have any compartments in here besides this one. So that's the only downside to this because I like things separated, which you'll see in the bag that I'm currently using. And this one doesn't have that. So there are solutions for this. So I'm actively looking on Amazon, my favorite place, to see if I can find some sort of organization system. And that way this bag will be more likable to me in that regard. And so again, the magnet is very strong. So it's gonna kind of just pull itself together eventually if I can see what I'm doing. And I like that about it. So everything is beautiful. I love it. The only con is what I mentioned to you in terms of the separation and being able to have pockets and things like that. But overall, this is a stunning bag and it's a showpiece. And so I really, really have been enjoying using it. And it's not my everyday bag, so I'm not gonna carry it on a daily basis. When I go out, I probably wouldn't reach for this bag only because it's very, you know, specific. And, um, and so I'll only use it if it really goes with my outfit. 
but I love the fact that I have it and um, it's just a really pretty bag. So I'll try to link all of these bags below. There's also going to be a $10 off coupon that I'll put below as well. If you are interested in any of these bags, you'll be able to get $10 off. So that is the first bag, super cute and very fun and vibrant and just not typical me, but I'm, I'm so glad I picked it up. Next up, I recently got this bag and it is just so, so pretty. Okay, so a laptop can fit in this bag. I have them, I have this bag in this color here, which is like a white, off-white sort of color. And then I also got this in black. So I'm gonna show you the black next and that's actually the bag that I'm using. This bag is such high quality, is so sophisticated and elegant. The straps are long enough. You can even adjust the straps if you would like. And it has compartments. So that's what I really, really love about it. And I love that you can fit your laptop in it. So that kind of gives you an idea of scale. It can fit my MacBook Pro in here. And I love that I can carry that in this little pocket here if I need to. So as you can see, it's got this large pocket, then it's got this zipper pocket here for you to be able to fit some other things in there. Within this zipper pocket, you've also got another pocket for you to just drop your phone in there if you would like. And then we've got this compartment here. And there, the compartments are rather large, as you can see. So this is a really, really good size bag. So I love the color. I just wanted to have a white bag and a black bag. And I love this bag so much in black that I just had to get it in white so this is the second bag I haven't used it yet it literally just came in and so it's you know I can't wait to use it it's also more of a specific bag because it's got to match with your outfit when I carry around a bag it's typically going to be a black bag so I got it in black as well so this is just a really pretty bag I'm glad I got this as well it's designed very well also and I love how it just sits up so it just, it's gonna be very easy to use. So that is the next bag up on the list and it's so stunning and it's just a really pretty bag. So, so glad I got this one. All right, so next up is the bag that I actually use and that is the same bag as that one that I just showed you, except it is in black. So as you can see, it's filled with all of the things. So again, we're gonna walk through everything that is inside of this bag. So you can see what's inside my bag, but it's designed exactly the same as the bag I just showed you in white, except again, it's black, it's classic. This is my favorite by far. And I just, this is the bag that I use on a daily basis when I head out. And it's got that same strap look. You can also adjust the straps there. So it's such a pretty bag. And so let's walk through what is inside of this bag. All right, so it is stuffed, you guys. I have every single thing in here, all the essentials in here for me to be able to just have what I need on the go. And again, you guys know I'm a mom already, so it's gonna be a lot of things catered to mom life. And so we're gonna start with this pocket here. Again, these, this slot and this slot is pretty much the same size. And then you've got this little zipper slot right here in the middle that zips right on up and it fits a laptop. So. Again, that shows you the scale in terms of how big that pocket is. All right, so in this first pocket here, the first slot, I try to kind of group things by item, I guess you could say. Um, and then I also wanna put things in the slots that I need to get to on an, a quick basis. So I don't put anything in the zipper part that I'm gonna need to pull out like a wallet. So the first thing is my mobile charger. This is the brand. If you guys are wondering, this is a really good mobile charger. And so this is what I use on the go when I need to charge my phone. And then in this slot also, I've got my ear pods. Y'all look at this case. Isn't it such a pretty case? It has like a really pretty floral pattern. And so I've been really loving this. I also have a little pom-pom on there that came with it. And y'all, my ears are shaped funny. So I have to have these little thingamajigs to fit on my ear. So that way I can put them on my ear pods and still be able to listen to them because they, they just won't fit in my ear as is. And the pros fit pretty good, but I didn't want to spend the extra money and I already had these. So I said, let me just buy a little hack. So I keep this on my um, keychain as well. So these are my ear pods that stay in that slot as well. And then this is a new wallet I got. So this is a part of this haul as well. And so I got it in black and then I also got a separate wallet. <laughs> like this so that way I could keep it tucked inside and this one I keep like business cards extra um, other credit cards ones that are non-essential gift cards things like that stay in this little slot right here our vaccination cards are in here and that's what I keep there and then I keep my essential credit cards here 
and then I keep my ID on the back. I'm not going to show you that, of course. And then, of course, in the side, there's a change. It's a little change purse, and it's got a little keychain here. So that is what I keep inside of here. So I just put that right on in there like that. Zip it up. I love that it has this little strap here, so that way I could you know, only take this if I need to take this. If I'm trying to move quickly and I don't want to take a big bag like this I have this so that's what's next and then I have my little pouch here I need to change this pouch out y'all I mean it's been serving its purpose so maybe I won't but this is like all of the medicines I have tampons in here I've got some um, cough drops in here y'all I've got hair bows in here so let me take everything out so you can see there's a lot of stuff in here but this has helped me so much on the go especially if the kids get hurt I've got band-aids I've got um, some germ wipes here I've also got some scrunchies if Addison needs to tie her hair back or if I need to tie my hair back I've got mints I'm that mom, you guys, that I have things, okay? There's been plenty of instances where someone will ask me, do I have something or they need something? And I'm like, I got you. I got you. So that feels good. And so I've got pretty much everything. I have a little thing for my eyebrows if I need to, you know, do some touch-up work. I've got some white strips, you guys. That's, look, it's, it's real out here, okay? Sometimes you need white strips on the go, right? So I'm not sure why these are in here, but I do have them. And then I also have some larger band-aids. So I try to keep various sizes. I also keep a first aid kit in my car. So I do have that there as well. Of course, tampons because you, you never know. And so that's what I keep inside this little clear bag. These are available in my shop, uh, just in case you're wondering. So I love those. I try to keep it as organized as possible, but sometimes you know when you're on the go, someone needs something, things can get a little bit messy. So that's what I've got in this little pouch here. And I'm telling you, it's been so helpful to have it. So I try to restock if needed so I can make sure that these items are always included here. So this is my little pouch, that's what's next. And that's everything that's in this little first compartment right here. And so now let's get into the middle compartment. If I need to take my laptop on the go and it's just my laptop and charger, I would put it in here. But most of the time I need all of the other things too. So that's why I carry around my planner tote bag and that's where my laptop stays. So I would just take that whole bag in addition to my purse or this little wallet here if again, I'm trying to be more mobile. All right, in the middle pocket here, I've got my charger. So we've got an Apple charger along with the plug, just in case. Then we also have some hand sanitizer. So that's almost gone, I need to replenish that. So that's all that's in this little pocket here. I also keep my mask in here. And y'all, this little contraption is really cute. So I got this off of Amazon. Let me know if you want me to link it. I'll try to remember to link it. I'm trying to do better by that. But basically your mask sits in here like so. Right, you fold in the little straps right there, and then you close it up like that, and then you bundle it up like that. Isn't that super cute to be able to protect your mask and um, you know have it in this little compartmentalized space where you could easily just pull it out, take it out of here, and put it on. I thought this was so cute, and I love that it's gray. So I've got that there, and then we also have contact solution because I wear contacts and eyeglasses, and sometimes I need some um, solution for my contacts. So I keep that in there, and then I also have two perfumes. So I have Versace and Dolce Gabbana, and so these are two really good ones. I have a perfume subscription service that I have subscribed to, and they send me two fragrances every single month. So this, I think, it was the last two fragrances. I like to keep perfume in my purse, so I just toss it in there. So that's all that's in this middle pocket here. And so now let's get to the final pocket. I have a random bag in here, so I do need to purge that out. And then I have this bag and an umbrella. I just have a little tiny umbrella so that way it doesn't take up too much space and it doesn't weigh my purse down too much. But this bag right here has a lot of other things in here too, so I'm going to show you what's inside this bag. This is just an Erin Condren Plenty Pack. So this works so good to be able to just store some other essentials in there outside of this here. So I'm gonna show you what's inside this bag now. All right, so let's open this up and share with you what's on the inside of this. Okay, my husband and son have really bad allergies, so I have to keep allergy medicine on us at all times because it gets really bad. I also have some Advil in here. I've got my pepper spray in a really pretty color. That's really pretty. I got this on Amazon, by the way, in there. It's got a little keychain here too, if you wanna add it to your keychain situation. So I've got that there. I also have some mascara. This is for my gray hairs. <laughs> 
so I keep that in there and then I also have mascara just for its intended purpose these are my two fave I think this um, gold one is from Mary Kay and then this one's from just Amazon or your local drugstore then I have some lotion here from Bath and Body Works. This is a really, really nice one. It's Hibiscus Paradise, so I really love that. I have the whole set that I use on a daily basis. So I've got that there. I also have some soft lips. So that's my little lip chap. I have a little sampler of perfume, not sure. I think I got this from Macy's and I just tossed it in. I'm really obsessed with perfumes and smelling good. And so I've got a ton of perfumes just from my subscription service. And then I like to add to that collection as well. I also have some other eye drops in there that are, uh, I think those are medicine drops. So I keep those. My favorite lip gloss is Almay. It's very neutral. It doesn't really have too much of a color to it. So I like this. I use this all the time to touch up. I've got some Aura Gel. Addison went through a whole stage where her teeth were hurting. So I said, let me just keep that in my purse. You never know when you may need that. I also have this little knife here that my husband gave me. It's so cute and compact. And I pretty much use it to open up boxes because we get so many shipments for the shop. And so I need to be able to open up all those Amazon packages. So I keep those in there. And then I keep this perfume. This is one of my favorites. This is called Flower Bomb. Y'all, it's expensive. Y'all, this stuff smells so good. So it came with this and then a funnel and then a little jar. So I keep the funnel in there for you to be able to put this inside of that um, little tube. It came with like a little tube like this. And so I've got the funnel in here too. And then some eyeliner. You never know when you may need that. Then I also have a little comb in here. So that's what I keep in this little planty pack here. So that, that thing was jam packed as you just saw. So these are all of the essentials that I keep in this little bag here. And that just helps me to be prepared on the go whenever I need something or someone else needs something. Again, I'm the, I'm the girl. I'm the girl to ask. And so that's all I keep in this little planning pack. And that just keeps me organized. As you guys see, I just like keeping things organized. It's just a part of who I am. Okay, so I decided to just embrace it. And so this is how my purse looks on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything in its place. I can easily see what I've got going on. I can easily grab what I need. And this just works so well for me. So this is the purse that I am using right now. And I love it. So as a part of the haul, like I mentioned before, I got two wallets. As I showed you, I got this bag. I got the white bag. I got the floral bag. And then I'm going to show you the planner that I picked up next. Y'all, someone in my Instagram stories told me about this planner cover it is a5 size i'm not quite sure if a a5 planner would actually fit in here you guys i feel like it's like right on size with the page and you know sometimes when it comes to covers all the time you need the planner cover to be a little bit wider than the actual planner inserts so i haven't tested an a5 planner to see if it would actually fit in here but it looks like it's a5 size i got it because i was thinking my half letter could fit in here it totally cannot fit in here because it's just it's too small so i decided to use this as a notebook i thought it was just super cute for that so i'm going to add a pen loop here to the cover because I need to be able to store my pen. I'm gonna be using a Muji pen and this is just gonna be my notebook for on the go, writing down notes, um, jotting down some things that I need to transfer to my actual planner. That's what this is gonna be for. So as you can see, it's just a little notebook that fits right on inside of this cover. There's a back cover here. And so it fits right inside perfectly. It's got the little logo, the coach logo at the bottom there. And that's how the back looks, same as the front. It's also got a little a logo on the, the snap part here. The stitching is great. It's a great quality. It's just a really pretty cover, very simple cover. It's not a card cover, so it's very bendy. It's got this clear page here that says coach, as you can see. And so that's where I'm going to attach the pin loop to. And so it'll be on the front side because I can't put it on the back unless I put it on the back page, which may work. Let's see, is it like more of like a cardstock back page? No, it's the same thickness as the actual paper. So that may not work, but I'll play around with it and see if I can get it on there. I wish it did come with a pin loop. That would be perfect. And it would just make me love this all the more, but it's basically your simple lined paper notebook. So I've already started writing notes in here of some things I need to pick up from Ikea. So this is gonna be perfect. I was using a purse planner in personal size. And so this is gonna be my new purse planner. And that way I could just write down notes while I'm on the go. So what I've decided to do now is just kind of hang the pin loop, is to kind of just hang the pin right here. 
and then close it right on up and that seems to work out. But I don't wanna be fumbling around with this pin and possibly lose it. So I feel like it definitely needs a pin loop. So this is last up on the list in terms of what I picked up and I just love this so much. So I'll link it below because I know you guys are probably gonna be interested in this because once I posted it on Instagram, you guys were asking all about it. And so I've been sending the link left and right. So again, I'll share everything below in terms of what I picked up and I'll also share a $10 off coupon for the coach outlet just in case you wanna grab one or two of these things. So this is my little storage area that I keep this bag on. It's just hung up there with a the little hook. And I think I'm gonna take down this book bag and just put this purse up there because it's having a hard time fitting both. So this is where I keep this bag, just tuck in the corner right here. I love this unit from Ikea. I also keep some bags down there and up top. So I'm gonna rearrange this so I can fit those bags in here because I don't like them just sitting up there like that. And then here's the white one. And so this is gonna sit up there as well until I can figure out a permanent location for that. And so there, there's that. When it comes to my black purse, it just sits at my table over there right here. It sits right in the chair until I get ready to use it. Those are my old Amazon bags that I told you guys about before. This one is messed up, so I'm gonna throw it away. But this one is what I just changed to because this one got a hole in it and I'm not throwing it away. I'm just not. I know it was $10, but let me have it, okay? I'm not gonna toss it because I just can't bring myself to doing it and I can give it to Addison too. So I'm gonna find out a place that I can fit that in the, the storage unit that I just showed you guys. And then black one is here. So this just stays right here on the chair until I get ready to go somewhere. And then the cover, can't forget about the cover. It's just such a pretty cover. So that is everything that I picked up from Coach, including a tour of my bag and what's inside of that. So that is it guys, that is what's inside my bag and a couple of things that I've been really enjoying right now, a little haul of sorts, so that way you guys could see some things that I picked up. Again, I don't really get a chance to buy that much for myself uh, outside of just home goods. <laughs> and that's typically for the family in my opinion. I feel like everybody gets to enjoy those things. So this was something that I can enjoy by myself. I deserved it. I need to treat myself from time to time. And so you got to see what's inside the bag that I carry on a regular basis. You got to see this cute little planner here and you got to see the other two bags that I purchased so hopefully you enjoy this I will post everything below so that way again you can have access to these things along with the coupon code so thank you guys so much for watching today I appreciate you stopping by my channel today to catch a what's inside my bag hopefully you enjoyed it so much so that you'll give me a thumbs up on this video you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you are new here and you'll come back by and catch another video in which case I'll see you guys then